Uh, I laugh at work-life balance. I don't have any balance. It is day 15 of Audio I did a rough name check on the Jungle Girls in comic books between 1935 and 1960. I know I missed a bunch of them, but the few that I could find, let's see, you got your Sari, Tanda, Rula, Sheena, Nayoka, Jungle Girl, and Dorothy L'Amour as Jungle Princess. Almost all of them are wearing skimpy animal clothing. Most have either red or strawberry blonde or blonde hair. And at least once a story, it's probably killing something with three or more legs. But there is one exception. Phantoma by Fletcher Hanks, sometimes writing under the name of Barclay Flagg. Except no substitutes or reinterpretations. Only Barclay Flagg or Fletcher Hanks. That dame was trippy. Never wore an animal print, to my knowledge. She liked thin, vaporous clothing or a short black dress. You cannot go wrong with a little black dress. She had two faces, and I don't mean that in a pejorative way. She had an angelic face, but if you pissed her off, her face became a skeleton as she entered into wrath mode. Fantova's specialty was to find creative ways to kill people. Drop them in quicksand, turn them into bait for other animals to consume, or place them on another planet with all the gold they could possibly want and nothing else. She was a godlike creature with a really serious vengeful streak. After Hank's flag left the book, Later artists de-godded her and over time basically made her a damsel in distress queen. No powers and extremely dependent on a man. It was an awful thing to do to Phantoma, but if you have a chance, take a look at the early books. She was one-dimensional, but she was amazing.